So, are we live? <laughs> yep, we're live. Love of my life, Riley girl. I've been writing this speech for over three months now. And when I started, I knew I wanted to tell everyone what makes you so special to me. To me, you are perfect. You are the girl of my dreams. Our relationship is so special and one of a kind that it is difficult to adequately describe. Some people start counting down six months out or even a year, but this Jackson Harmon wedding countdown started more than 15 years ago. It's hard to pick a place to start, where it all started, when it all started, how it all started. The story of Riley and Elliot is not your average love story. It's more like a fairy tale and almost too good to be true. Boy meets girl. Boy falls in love with girl. Boy falls in love with girl's brother. Boy falls in love with girl's father. Our relationship with Elliot started when he was around 10 years old. I used to call up Pam and Martin and ask them if Elliot and Peter could come to the lake with me and hang out and spend my summer vacation. Growing up, the Harmon House was our second home. It's only fitting that Riley and Elliot's relationship started and grew in Star Harbor. This was the start of remarkable lifelong friendships. Somewhere between that hot Cedar Creek sun and Elliot's third degree burns, Riley and Elliot's love story began. Elliot would come over to hang out with my dad and brother and go upstairs and play video <laughs> games. And then in high school, we started hanging out with his friends and then Elliot would come over to my house and he would not hang out with Tanner anymore and he would hang out with me and everyone was like, what's going on? He would come over to hang at our house. And as much as I thought you were coming over to be with me, but eventually I realized you may have been coming to hang out with someone else. I can remember the first time that I went over to the Harmon's house not to hang out with Tanner and Toddy, but to go pick up Riley for our first date. And, and the rest was history. Regan and I knew that Riley and Elliot's relationship had to be the real deal because when we were both absolutely boy crazy in middle school, Riley never talked about guys. I mean, like, never even said one was cute. <laughs> in middle school, all the Schechter boys loved Riley. <laughs> she never gave any of them the time of day. But then your boy E came around, and you guys couldn't be more perfect for each other. Your boy E! Elliot was the tall, older guy that had his license and drove us all around Plano blasting Taylor Swift's Fearless album. <laughs> I had never seen Riley so interested in a boy and just remember how happy and smiley she was. I don't think there's one person in this room that's shocked we're here today. Um, Riley and Elliot have been couple goals since the sophomore year Valentine's Dance at Shelton. I knew that Riley and Elliot were special. They were so in love and their relationship was honestly just mature beyond their years because they knew that they had found their person and nothing was going to change that. So are we good? We're good. We're in. Oh my god, this freaking dress. <laughs> Riley and I have been dating for as long as I can remember. From skiing skats, to family vacations, to summer days at the lake, and the list goes on and on. 
but the one thing that has remained constant is their loyalty to each other. Even when going to school miles and miles apart, you are nothing but loyal. It has truly been a fairy tale story right from the start. The Jacksons have been a part of our lives and have treated us like family from the very first time we met them 15 years ago. Our lives are so intertwined that if Riley and Elliot didn't get married, nothing would have changed. We would still be doing the lake, we'd still be doing the dinners, and we'd still be doing vacations and holidays. But now that Elliot and Riley are married, we can proudly say it's official. feels like we've been waiting for this moment for ages. I've been thinking about this speech in my head for a long time, but when I finally sat down to write it, I never expected it to be so tough. And it's something I've always admired about him. There's just something special about Elle that draws you in, a natural gravitation that makes people want to be around him all the time. He cares so much. Ryan, I know it hasn't always been easy sharing Elliot, but you have to understand that he was my roommate first. <laughs> Ryan, there is no question that you were absolutely the perfect soulmate for my brother. You make Elliot feel like the luckiest person in the world, and he absolutely loves and adores you. We should all be so lucky to find the love as special as yours. each other 16 years ago when your family serendipitously started taking you to Cedar Creek Lake. But who would have guessed that all these years later you would stand under this hoopa prepared to be husband and wife? I think pretty much everyone would have guessed it. <laughs> Long before either of you knew how perfect you were for each other, those around you could see the sparks flying. And even though Elliot claims that he only hung out at Riley's house to see Tanner, I think we can all agree that it was really because of Riley. When we went to the Western Wall on our Birthright Israel trip, we all wrote a wish on a piece of paper to place in the crack of the wall. Of course I looked over Riley's shoulder, sorry. <laughs> and I saw her write, I hope I get to marry Elliot Jackson one day and live a long, happy and healthy life together. You always watch out for me, mom and dad, all of us. You are the glue that holds our family together. But for all your amazing traits and accomplishments, Al, perhaps your crowning achievement has been to find a dream girl with a heart as pure as yours. A girl as silly, stinky, and sweet as she is beautiful. I know this may sound cliche, but words like gorgeous, Generous, selfless, humble, happy, and kind-hearted just don't say enough. You see Ani. Ani. Lido Dati. Lido Dati. Vido Dati. Vido Dati. Lee. Lee. I am my beloved's. I am my beloved's. And my beloved is mine. And my beloved is mine. Say Ani. Ani. Lido D. Lido 
Jodie. Let Jodie. Vedodi. Lee. Lee. I am my beloved's. I am my beloved's. And my beloved is mine. And my beloved is mine. Elliot and Riley, you are now husband and wife. <laughs> Elliot, <laughs> nothing changes. I don't need to pass the torch or ask you to take care of my sister. I know I can trust you to provide a life full of laughter. Fried rice, <laughs> warm summer fires, and love, because you're already doing it. Ready? Set. Let's do this thing, here we go. No your girl R without your boy E. And no Elliot without Riley. Raja and E Jack. Your boy E. And your girl R. Your girl R, your boy E. Your girl R. And your boy E. Riley the girl and big dad. You know what you're talking about. To know you is to love you, even though you sit down to pee.